My name is Elizabeth Streb and I'm an extreme action choreographer based in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at a studio called SLAM, Streb Lab for Action Mechanics. I had the, the privilege to perform one of Trisha Brown's dances from 1970 called Man, Man Walking Down the Side of a Building. This piece was uh, made in a, originally in 1970 uh, it, it was walked by her then husband in a courtyard in Soho and it was really just the idea of changing gravity to 90 degrees and staying parallel to the ground and walking down. Since late August when Trisha asked me to do this piece, I tried to imagine what it would have been like for a choreographer in 1970 to have this idea. There's something Trisha noticed about the dance world and movement and what's possible in terms of forces, the use of gravity, where your ground is, what your base of support is, and how you behave when you get into a completely, um, completely foreign physical situation, spatially. I thought I understood exactly how it was gonna feel. And so I went to the gym and started doing sit-ups and back extensions and all that. So I thought that's how it was gonna feel, like this tremendous struggle just to stay, stay on the wall with my feet and perfectly horizontal to the ground. Once I, once I tipped over the top edge of the building, walked down. This was not like that. I mean, at all. The first time I walked down, my, my balance was so precarious that I was on the head of a pin. And everything I did dislodged that balance. Every time you lift a foot, you're, swing, you're, you're changing your center. So I started to swing one way, then the other way, which isn't good, because when the rope gets longer and longer, your pendulum gets more and more extreme, you know, side to side. But it was also going in and out when I got a certain distance down. So I had all of this ambient motion that I was trying to not have occur. This harness, you're balancing on this. So if you, if you take a small bench and just stay sideways, that's sort of how it feels. Um, I will say it's not comfortable. When they make it this tight, I have to lie in the ground and they put their foot on me and pull to get it this tight so it will not move, you know, as I'm going down. The most difficult part is waiting to go. My legs are getting number and number and number and number. You keep thinking, well, I'll get used to this or I'll remember yesterday and I'll do better today. No, no, I feel like each walk that I took there was nothing that became familiar increasingly. It deconstructed the walk for me in a way that I never expected it to. I think that until you uh, frame out purely physical um, conditions and alter them, uh, you're not really telling the truth about movement because you're already in a balanced situation. So um, I looked at Trisha and everything she's done um, to alter the way people will ask questions about movement.